Hello everyone, it's me, Lynn Daniel, coming to you today from my Lynn Daniel channel. I was going to say, The Buddy Zone. That is my teacher channel here on YouTube, but this is my Lynn Daniel channel. My teacher, or no, my real life, everyday life channel. Okay, so I'm making videos because I have a little free time. I am on fall break, which affords me time to recoup, relax, recuperate from the week or the, you know, first quarter of working, which for us started July 19th, I believe. Um, and students returned on like August 3rd or 4th. And so I've been teaching remotely since then. Now we're on fall break and um, I'm recuperating. Yeah, from teaching, refreshing myself, working on my own personal projects and my professional development through my doctoral stuff, my doctoral education and the doctoral process. And so today, this video is going to talk a little bit about relationships and knowing yourself pretty much. Um, so the reason I'm making this video is because a few people have reached out to me via social media primarily about um, liking people or not liking people. So um, like it's okay to, we need to get to the point to where we are okay with not liking someone without having beef or problems with that person. You just, okay, you don't mesh. You don't like that person because your vibes are not the same or you have, you share no commonalities and that's okay. And, and you know what? I respect that. I respect the person who can say, I don't, I don't have anything against you, but we just don't jive. We don't meld. That's healthy thinking. To me, that reflects a person who knows what they like, they know themselves, and they know what they don't like. But this mindset of, I don't like you because you're different, and so I'm going to be petty with you or have issues with you, that's, that's to me a sign of a sickness or an immaturity. Now, when I say a sickness, I mean like, a mental mindset that is not matured or maybe a mental mindset that is not healthy. Um, and it needs to be examined. Because a part of growing up, you learn early on, like I can remember learning early on in life as a child that I didn't like certain things. I didn't like certain foods. I didn't like certain cartoons. I didn't like certain people, certain adults. I remember learning that. I remember being able, being able to distinguish that in myself. Oh, I don't like that person. That person seems mean. Oh, I don't like them. It's something about them. I don't know what it is, but it's something about them that I just don't like. So I remove myself and stay away from them. That is healthy. But that mindset that says, I don't like you, so I hate you, or I want to antagonize you, that's sickness. That is not welcome here in my room. I, I don't, I don't um, interact with people on that level. And so, um, and I don't want people interacting with me on that level. I would just invite you for people who I don't mesh with you or you don't like my vibe. You have my permission to leave. You're welcome any time to go. Never come back. Don't let the doorknob hit you where the sunshine don't shine. I mean, really. Isn't that the bottom line of it? So, um, so yeah. Know what you like. Now, a friend of mine was talking about, on along the same lines... A friend, a few friends. Now, these these ideas that I'm sharing with you come from my social media friends. 
Some of these people I know in real life and I have interacted with in real life and I interact with in real life. So I know them on the level of my interaction with them in real life. And so one of the friends had mentioned something about just be nice. Just be nice to people. You know, just be courteous, be kind, present opportunities to be helpful. Don't go out of your way to be nasty or rude. Just be kind to people. And that person I have found to be one of the kindest people that I know. That person is just genuinely, genuinely kind. That is their disposition. They, they're, they're pleasant. Every time I interacted with this person, we had very good social conversations about just the mundaneness of living as teachers on the earth teaching in schools, you know? And this person is one of the kindest, most caring teachers that I know. You know? And so, just be kind to people. We are not going to like everyone that we meet, but we do not have to have beef and problems with everyone that we meet. We do not have to be petty with everyone with me, that we meet. I have a friend who is a psychologist, a trained psychologist, licensed, passed tests, and this person is a licensed, trained psychologist, and this person pointed out that this that pettiness, that behavior of pettiness is actually a, a, a sign of mental illness. It's a category of mental illness. It's... um. I may not be saying it, describing it correctly because I'm not a trained psychologist, but petty behavior can be addressed through by trained psychologists because it is an aspect of a mental illness or a category of mental illness. It takes a lot of energy to be negative. So, care for yourselves by, I mean, this is how I do it. Like, I spend, I spend a lot of time alone now. Since my daughters are adults. They're grown. They've been, they have been gone out of the nest for over a decade. When they're, they were gone to college and they were gone on their own, you know, moved out when their dad passed away. So, and that's been a long time so my daughters are adults with their own lives on their own journeys in their own relationships with their own families and so I get to witness them bloom and blossom into these beautiful adults these beautiful mates to their spouses and beautiful mothers to their children right and beautiful daughters to me and so uh, I have come to learn that it's important to know, to like love yourself and care for yourself enough to where you're choosing to be with people who also love and cherish you. You're choosing to be around kind people. I have some of the kindest friends, I think. Now, if I found out that the, the people I consider to be my friends... If I found out differently that they were not genuinely kind towards me, but they were just like fronting, I would be disappointed because they are some of the most beautiful, kind people. Giving, helpful, sharing, kind, supportive. I mean, I'm just, I feel very blessed. I feel very blessed. And, and, um... So, to take care of yourself, find and spend time with caring people. Now, in, when I was active in the YouTube teacher community, 
I met a lot of wonderful teachers in the Teacher You Could Too community. And we have become friends where, like social media friends, where now we've allowed each other into our face, face group, what is it, Facebook pages and face group, Facebook, I can't even say Facebook. Facebook group. So we are friends now on Facebook. We are friends on our YouTube teacher community Facebook group. We are also sharing with each other our professional Facebook um, professional groups that we're part of. And so I find those women and men to be some of the most dynamic teachers. They offer some of the most vibrant lessons, some of the most exciting self-care tips, some of the most realistic, raw descriptions of the ugliness of teaching. Some of them get right down to the nitty gritty and spell it out very plainly. And some of them are just super encouraging, like yeah, this is going on or these changes are occurring. But even in it, they are super duper <laughs> encouraging. Like, that's just, their, that's just their nature. And so find people like that in your world. If, if not in the world that you were born into, then it's important for you to cultivate those relationships in your world in order to become a whole person and um, a better person you know there's a lot of talk going on right now about narcissism and abuse a narcissistic abuse and you know negative relationships and and how people misuse and abuse one another take advantage of each other and, and that type of thing and what I will say to that is, it's good to know those, to understand and to know that those types of relationships do exist. And to understand your own personal perspective and um, temperament with how you live life and how you interact with people. And then it's also important to map out our individual courses of life like what kind of people are you going to choose to interact with and then when you have to interact with people who may be toxic how are you going to interact with those people so that you are well cared for so that you are protected and not taken advantage of and so that you have a recourse when or a, a recourse or a support mechanism when you have to confront or deal with those individuals in a confrontational manner to set records straight or to, you know, clear the, the space or whatever. So yeah, having a um, having your own little network of friends is so important in this world that we live in, in these times. And so yeah, that's this video for today. I'm just kind of touching base, base with y'all and letting y'all know where I am right now on this fall break. This is, I don't know when I'm gonna upload this, but you're gonna be getting a few videos because it's fall break and my lesson plans are done. We did those prior to fall break and um, some other things are done. <laughs> all right, thank you all for watching. Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe! All right, y'all. Be blessed. Bye.